I'm here with Christian Lakey. He's the co-founder of Silver Branch Brewery, and we're talking a bit about the business and uh, kind of the pressures that they're under right now, the kind of decisions that they have to make in order to survive. Um, so, Christian, what, could you give us a quick snapshot of your business before and, and after the, uh, this all began? Well, as you can imagine, uh, the number of people we have working at Silver Branch right now has decreased uh, dramatically in the last uh, week and a half, two weeks. Uh, we were about 42 individuals working here um, prior to the order to close, and right now we're down to about uh, eight people total, um, six of us full-time and two people part-time. Many of your employees hopefully filed for unemployment insurance. I know you, you'd encourage them to do that. We stress that they should file immediately. Uh, so the same day that the uh, order came down from the governor, we sent an email to all of our um, taproom staff knowing that, letting them know that we had to um, uh, you know, put them on furlough and that they should not delay, but that day uh, call unemployment insurance to try to get ahead of the curve. Now you uh, are running a takeout business. Tell us about that. Yes, so we have uh, been uh, selling our cans of beer out our front door and have been very heartened by the reaction we've gotten from our community. People have been coming in and buying uh, six packs here. Uh, we also uh, launched a, a loyalty club. We have been thinking about launching as part of a one year celebration and uh, just didn't get our act together. But we've done all the thinking about it, so we launched our Explorers Club and figured this would be the ideal time to get a little bit of uh, an influx of money to help us weather this storm. And uh, again, we've been very, very um, So that's uh, a bankroll. subscription, basically, it's a, right? right. It's like yeah. you, you pay money up front, and you get your beer monthly in the future. Right, exactly. You get a discount uh, when you come here, and you get uh, two six-packs of beer per month um, for the next year or uh, two years, depending on which version you purchase. And I'm a loyal member, I can uh, say. It's so thank you very much. Much appreciated. did extend yeah. For yeah. The, uh, yeah. in the crisis here. Um, so in terms of your expenses now, you've got, you've got rent. You've got loans that you have to repay. Um, you've utilities. got uh, uh, utilities, mm -hmm. and you have the payroll for for the eight of you. Right. And um, then raw ingredients. And and then you have to produce. You have raw ingredients, can uh, aluminum, and that, all that stuff to run a manufacturing facility. So, Correct, yeah. in order to make it through the other side, mm -hmm. uh, you you've been you and I've been talking about the need for a rent holiday, uh, a loan holiday. Uh, you know, this kind of issue every business is going to be faced with is. You know, I could run a takeout business, but it might not be able to generate enough revenue to pay rent and to pay off the loan that I took out from the banks to buy all this equipment in front of you. Of course, of course. Uh, you know, all of our uh, projections um, were based on the idea that this space would be full instead of empty. And uh, two thirds of our space is in our tap room as opposed to our production area. Uh, so that two thirds of our uh, space is just uh, sitting here um, you know, empty space at this point in time. Thankfully, we've reached out to both of our landlord and our bank, and while nothing has been finalized, we have gotten some positive um, feedback from both of them that they understand. Right. Uh, so the idea would be the rent, if you could get a holiday, they would add it to the end of the lease, presumably. So correct. it's not that yeah. you will be paying them less money in the future, you'll just be paying for a longer period of time in the future. Right, exactly. For the loan, instead of being a 10-year loan, it would be a 10-year and six-month loan, for right. example. And for the um, for the rent, we would presumably then just tack six months onto the end of the lease. Um, and you know, I think that they they would certainly see the calculus that a tenant uh, who can't pay for six months is much better than a tenant who goes out of business. Which now, I read in the case New York Times this morning that some of the restaurant industry expectations are as much as 75% of all businesses could go under. So if you're a landlord. You know, you want to have a tenant because there's no one going to be coming in to fill this space. And this, this space that I'm in here, this sat vacant for 10 years. Uh, you know, I used to work across this this courtyard in a complex, and it was a ghost town for many years. There's one or two businesses in this whole complex. So, I, I would hope that landlords across the whole economy are going to be saying we we're, we need an extraordinary action in order to defer some of these expenses. But everybody has to be part of it. The banks have to be part of it. Right. You can't, um, government alone cannot do this. Uh, it's going to have to take uh, government working in conjunction with private right. um, businesses to, to try and, to help each other out. And we have to, you know, we have to look at if you can't pay your utilities, uh, your your property taxes, then we're not going to charge you rent, uh, interest, uh, fees. Like we, everyone has to be coming together around this idea of a holiday or or a freeze on everything until we get out of this. Right, we have to get through this short-term pain 
and then work together to figure out how to make each other whole over time. But uh, anybody who's calling in uh, debts that can't be paid right now is, I think, thinking in a short-term way that's not going to be helpful to them or anybody else. So we're all in it together. Um, I'm going to order my monthly 12-pack uh, now, and I'm going to get a, a hoodie because I've been looking for a hoodie for a long time, and uh, I need I need a Silver Branch hoodie. It's chilly so, out there. So. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so I'm going to we're going to walk over there, and we're going to go pick one out. Thank you, Christian. Right. Well, thanks, Hans, for coming in. I really appreciate it. I, I thank you. Um, what you've done for Silver Spring, you you and the entrepreneurs in the brewery sector have remade Silver Spring in, in a new way, and it has really uh, culturally had a huge impact and people love it here, um, and you're part of what's really making Silver Spring amazing, but the same story in Rockville with our industrial breweries district and Brookville, you know, only Laytonsville, you know, we, we, have, we have these districts all over the county, great entrepreneurs, um, but we've, we've got to find a solution because we can't lose everything that we've won over the past few years thanks to your hard work. Thank you very much. All it's right. great to hear from you. Thanks.